So, hi. Hi, everyone. So, my name is Hervaya, and I'll be talking to you about the data at rest encryption. Uh, how is it uh, implemented in MariaDB, MySQL, and the Procurement Server? So, quick overview. So, main goal of this talk is to provide, like, well, all of the features that you can get encrypted. Like, first, why, why use it? Well, what's, get, what's getting written to disk? What's getting and not getting encrypted? Uh, a bit about key management and how to do uh, backup. So, so what do we mean when we say data at rest? Data at rest in information technology means inactive data that is stored physically uh, in any digital form. So it's like databases, spreadsheets, uh, offset backups. So most of the data uh, that's collected uh, is being collected because uh, it has some value. So even if you're just hoarding the data, it has like some, some senti sentimental value, I guess. So, so data at rest encryption, or uh, the other term is that I've seen is like uh, transparent uh, data encryption. Uh, it provides uh, like a layer of security uh, for the files that are stored on the on the disk. Uh, this means, like, if your data gets stolen, uh, or someone that gets like access to your server, uh, even if he they copy the data, they still can't can't use it without the without the encryption. So, you know that, or like uh, maybe you have like a you don't want you don't want to like the server operators. Uh, if you have like a hosting server, you don't you don't want them to get the access to the data. So, so this is like getting more popular uh, with the GDPR, uh, and even like in the like past, like in the last few years, you've seen like lots of data leaks from the from the databases. So. Uh, so what's written, what's getting written to disk? So uh, system table space. Uh, the most familiar file is uh, IB data one. So it contains double write, write bu buffer, uh, change buffer, and data dictionary. So undo table space. Uh, most fr fa famous files are undo 001 and undo 002, and y you can have like your own like uh, user edited uh, table spaces. File per table space. This is uh, if you're using like InnoDB file, file per table option. Uh, uh, read the log, uh, IB log file zero. So then general table spaces and uh, temporary table spaces. So other log files, these are like uh, error log, uh, general log, audit log if you have the audit log plugin. So what's getting written to disk, but it's not encrypted. encrypted. So currently, data address encryption only covers uh, InnoDB. Uh, so other storage engines are not supported, like MyRox, TokuDB, MyISM. My uh, so query log, general log, error log are not also being encrypted. Audit log is not encrypted. But as always, we have like exceptions. So ARIA. Uh, storage engine is in MariaDB. If you're using Mar MariaDB, it's getting encrypted. It can be encrypted, but only the storage engine, not the ARIA logs. So, audit log. Uh, so, in Procurement Server and MariaDB, uh, audit log plugin is like a community based. It's like uh, free to use, but it's not, there is no uh, option to that you can like enc uh, encrypt it. But in MySQL 8, uh, audit log plugin is enterprise feature, and they also uh, have like an option to, to to encrypt it. So, so key management. So in order to enable the the encryption, uh, we need to configure the server to use the some of the key management plugins. So these plugins are responsible. Uh, for both the management of the encryption and uh, and the, well, for the ma management of the encryption keys and the actual encryption and decryption of the data, so so there, there's like a 
one 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 important uh, thing is like uh, all of them like support multiple uh, carrying plugins, but uh, only one carrying plugin should be enabled uh, at a, at at a time. So uh, enabling like multiple carrying carrying plugins is like not supported and it can result in the data loss. So and like the the real thing is like the seller won't if you like enable multiple server won't, won't complain so uh, so uh, current plugins so, uh, in MariaDB uh, uh, we have like uh, three uh, file key management it's like uh, it's like a basic key uh, management plugin uh, it reads the key from the plain text file so and MariaDB also offers like a, they have like a nice tutorial on how to encrypt this Encrypt this file so it's not uh, it's not readable by users. So uh, AWS key management. So you can use this with the AWS uh, key management service. So uh, the Eperi key management. Uh, so I, I got this from the documentation, uh, MariaDB documentation. But when I got to the links of the Eperi, uh, it shows like 404. So I'm not sure if it's like supported or not. So, uh, Percona Server uh, also provides carrying file plugin, so it's like a plain text file. But currently, uh, it doesn't work uh, if you encrypt it. So it's not; it's only like a plain text file. So uh, Percona Server also provides the uh, uh, HashiCorp uh, carrying vault plugin. So if you use like Hashicorp's vault, you can store the, the keys there. So, uh, uh, yeah, so MySQL also provides the carrying file plugin, uh, but they have like a few more, I think like five or six, but these are only available as enterprise. So, so like, uh, so when you're encrypting the production data, you need to make sure that you, you don't lose the key. So. If the key is lost, uh, you get you lose all the access to the files. So, not good. But also, uh, I've seen this you know, like in a few cases. Uh, people back up the key uh, with the data, so it's like you know, locking your house but leaving the key in the in the door. Or so that's not a, not a good idea. Is also so uh, on the stuff that's uh, encrypted in. MariaDB, uh, system table space encryption. Uh, so it stores the double, double, double write buffer and the change buffer. Uh, it can have like one or more data files, but the, the, the most popular one is IB data. So uh, it's encrypt, encrypted in MariaDB since 10.1. 10, 10 so it was GA'd in uh, October 2015. So it's like to four and a half years. So uh, it's also available in Procon Server uh, 5.7. Currently, it's uh, experimental. So this is the InnoDB C stable space encrypt variable can be used to encrypt it. So uh, uh, also available in Procon Server uh, 8.0.13, but not available in 8.0, in MySQL 8.0. So uh, there's like an important Im limitation with this. Uh, so uh, you can use this only uh, when you are like initializing the database. So it's like you cannot con convert the system table space from the encrypted state to the unencrypted, or un un unencrypted, or vice versa. So if conversion is like needed, uh, you create a new instance with the initialize. Uh, you set up the inner DB table, table space encrypt in your config file, and then you like start the service, and then you move your data to the to that instance. So. MySQL system table space encryption. So uh, this is like a this is like a ATO specific uh, in ATO My, in MySQL ATO and precursor ATO uh, system table space MySQL system table space uh, contains the MySQL system database and the data dictionary files. So so uh, to enable it, you can just uh, do the auto table space and set the database and 
32 yes so uh, this is like not available in the MariaDB because MariaDB is like uh, doesn't have doesn't doesn't separate the MySQL system table space from the system table space so uh, undo, the, undo table space encryption so these are the like most popular files are like undo 001 undo 002 from the also available in MariaDB like most of these features are like available in MariaDB for like four years so in Procona server uh, currently uh, experimental uh, you can use this variable to do it uh, but G8 in MySQL 8 and G8 in Procona server so there are some limitations when you use this so when it's like once you enable it uh, you can't actually disable it so I mean you like you you always need a uh, keying file to be uh, keying plugin to be loaded because um, one, like once it's turned on, uh, uh, the server can't guarantee that there are there aren't any privacy uh, record in the in the under table space. So, like this is not something you want to test on your like production. So, uh, file to table space. Uh, this is one like. Uh, uh, one of the earliest uh, features available, so it's available in 5.7.11 MySQL uh, and same in Precona server regarded by the upstream merge, so how to use it yeah. so real log encryption, so like if you like encrypting the inner DB uh, tables and don't have like encrypted uh, real log, so Data written to the encrypt encrypted uh, table still may be found in the read log. So, uh, so yeah, uh, okay. General table space uh, also available since in like this is like G8 most G8 feature as well. So. Uh, you can use it by you know, creating the table space uh, something and just you know add the encryption option on so temporary table space encryption so this one is like fun so uh, available also in MariaDB uh, a while ago with these two options uh, in Precurrent Server 5.7 it's still, still experimental uh, these are the variables that you can use in 8.0 uh, available in it's like G8 in Percona server, but this is still not available in the in the in the MySQL. So uh, these are like uh, what what's getting encrypted here. So it's like uh, it's like the uh, IB temp file. Uh, this is the file that gets created on on the on the server side. So uh, and the temp files. Uh, What's covered? It's like file sort. Uh, that's like, for example, when you want to select with a statement like that has like SQL big result and with enhance like, and like binary log transaction tra transaction ca caches and do replication cache. So uh, replication. So uh, binary log contains the sensitive information, right? So uh, that's used to copy data. Uh, between the servers so uh, in other words so like if you get if you get everything encrypted but you don't encrypt the belong you, you someone can still see all of your all of your data so that, yeah sucks so but the thing is like uh, this is only like uh, belong is being encrypted uh, on the disk so you still need to do the like TLS if uh, set up the TLS for the replication to get the data encrypted across the network. So, uh, yeah. So limitations. So when the yeah, one of the things. Uh, uh, if you do the, uh, you can encrypt the, this. Uh, this this feature uh, encrypts both of the uh, binary and the relay logs. So if you if you set the feature on, and even if you don't uh, have the binary logs. On by default, uh, relay logs will still get uh, encrypted. 
So, uh, so once you get those encrypted, uh, the problem is like, uh, like not the problem, like uh, limitation is that uh, MySQL binog cannot read them uh, directly. So, but you can use them. You, uh, it can, you can read them by setting up the read from remote server option. So, but this option like requires the server to be running. So, uh, in 5.7 and Maria MariaDB 10, uh, uh, if you uh, encrypt the binog, it requires the server to be restarted for uh, changes to take, eff take effect in ATO, uh, in both MySQL my, my and Percona server implementation, once you set the binog encryption, uh, uh, server uh, automatically rotates the log and the new logs get uh, encrypted. Uh, so, backups. Uh, you can backup the encrypted data. That's probably a good feature. So. Uh, you can use uh, Percona Extra Backup uh, to backup the MySQL and Percona Server. Uh, Maria, Maria Backup for uh, backing up the MariaDB stuff. Uh, and uh, you can use MySQL Dump to backup for all three of them. So the thing is, like with MySQL Dump, if you do the backup, it won't be encrypted by default. So, so how does this look like? So Encrypt all things in MariaDB. So features. This is like uh, the nice one. So how to set up the uh, how to encrypt the uh, file key management. And it's like the in Percon Server. It's like this is this is the example with the HashiCorp HashiCorp Vault. So URL secret. Uh, all the features in MySQL eight. Uh, I use the king file. So uh, this is what what, what get in, uh, encrypted or not. So uh, all of them. So uh, the MariaDB team uh, takes the credit for leading the way with the data address en encryption. Most of the most of their features have been here since 10.1 release, and that's like as I said, like that's like four and a half years. Probably more. So, uh, I think that's important. Is like all these features are disabled by default. So you have to set up the curing file, uh, curing plugin, and enable each each of these. So also like each of these have to have like a special option that you can that you need to uh, set so it get uh, so they get uh, encrypted. So currently there is like a there's no like master switch to you say encryption on and everything gets encrypted. That's still not in. So, uh, so in the pe period of like a year, year and a half, so this uh, this table uh, looked uh, complete, completely different, uh, except the MariaDB things. Uh, uh, with PS, the concern five seven. Uh, uh, some of the features features were available, but were only experimental. And for MySQL, uh, it had only uh, file per table, five file per table, table space encryption, and we do under log encryption. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so like, if you want to know how the sausage is made, uh, there is like a talk from my colleague Robert in the UA2 room. Uh, he will have like a more detailed talk about implementation of this of this feature in the MySQL and Percona server. Uh, this is like more internal oriented talk. So even if you don't want to attend the talk, you can watch the recording if you're interested in this. So these are the resources and thank you. Okay, this is me. Uh, Questions? questions yeah. um, any performance considerations as a, a summary of? Yeah, so uh, regarding the performance, uh, I haven't done any ben benchmarks, but from the, like, Marie, uh, I've seen from the MariaDB documentation, they say like 3 to 5%, and I've seen somewhere like around 6 so.
Can you? My question is almost the exact same. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you want to change the key, what happens? Oh yeah, there is. Just ask. Me. Yeah, you, you can. You can. I didn't tell this because you can like rotate the the keys. So there is like a separate thing. Do you need to re all the data? Depends on the implementation. Yeah. I mean, is it, sorry. Yeah. So the thing is, like, it, it depends on the on the curing plugin you are using. So. But I know that some implementation you need to redo everything. Sometimes it's just some key that change. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? Uh, so yeah, so the question was, how does this complain uh, compare with the uh, file system encryption? So you can do that, uh, but this is like uh, more granular, granular. So you still have the encryption. Uh, <coughs> this like makes sense if you like, uh, you're, if you're like in the hosting environment. So you have like someone that get, needs to get the access to the data, the the other data that's not the MySQL like MySQL data. So. That's the separation. So, so you can get, you know, you can manage all the stuff, but you can you can't see the the data. Okay. Thank you.